in the darkness. Deep in the vastness of space, between stars, one fragile world learned to dream. We mapped its continents, traversed its seas, learned to conquer its cloud-dappled skies. But every horizon we master reveals another, just a little further beyond our reach. Now we design futures, worlds we have yet to touch. Join the blueprint. What comes next is ours to shape. This is our home. A thin film of life wrapped around a fragile rock, suspended in silence. Everything we are, every laugh, every scar, every memory, clings to this vibrant, yet fleeting layer of Earth's crust. We've mapped its oceans, split its atoms, rewritten the genetic code of life itself. But there's one truth we cannot escape. Earth will not last forever. Our world feels permanent, but permanence is an illusion. Earth is bound by cosmic laws we cannot rewrite. Our sun, the quiet engine of life, will eventually expand into a red giant, vaporizing oceans and scorching continents. Five billion years seems distant, but Earth faces threats much sooner. Our planet's magnetic field, our invisible protector, weakens gradually, exposing life to harsh cosmic radiation. Earth's crust, constantly reshaped by tectonic movements, could one day slow, ending the recycling process crucial to life. These changes alone make Earth's long-term habitability uncertain. Yet humanity adds even greater urgency. Climate change accelerates, pushing ecosystems to their breaking point. Population growth strains limited resources. Nuclear arsenals, capable of extinguishing human civilization within hours, remain ready. And our advanced technologies bring existential risks, artificial intelligence, engineered pandemics that could spiral beyond control. And even if we somehow manage our own self-inflicted dangers, Nature's threats remain ever-present. Massive asteroids cross Earth's orbit every few hundred thousand years, each capable of triggering mass extinction events. Beneath us, supervolcanoes quietly slumber, powerful enough to blanket the planet in ash and plunge us into decades of darkness. Throughout history, Humanity has always ventured beyond the horizon, driven by curiosity and necessity. Over 70,000 years ago, our ancestors walked out of Africa, risking everything to discover unknown lands. Tens of thousands of years later, civilizations built boats and sailed across oceans with no promise of return. In 1969, that same spirit propelled humanity skyward Apollo 11 carried us beyond our cradle, placing footprints upon another celestial body for the very first time. It wasn't just exploration, it was affirmation. We could leave home, we could venture into the cosmos and redefine what it means to be human. As the great Russian visionary Konstantin Tsiolkovsky said, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot live in the cradle forever. Tsiolkovsky envisioned humanity as an interplanetary species, driven not just by survival, but by purpose. To expand into space isn't merely an act of caution, it's an evolutionary step. Just as we once crossed oceans to reach new continents, now we must cross the void to reach new worlds to preserve our species, our cultures, our stories, and perhaps most importantly, our sense of wonder. We must carry our torch of life into the darkness, because to truly honor Earth's gift, 
we must ensure it was not given in vain. The cosmos awaits not just our footprints, but our voices, our dreams, our very essence. Our destiny lies among the stars. And now a quick word from our sponsor, The Drawing Board, because even in the void, civilization runs on support. Still wearing mass market clothes that say nothing about what you stand for? Meet The Drawing Board, a collector-driven designer fashion label that fuses future-forward streetwear with high-concept speculative futurism. Every limited edition drop is a self-contained story, bold, intentional, and built for tomorrow. It's not fabric, it's a manifesto you can wear. Try it for yourself and wear the change you wish to see in the world. Where do we go once we leave our cradle behind? Not every world welcomes us, but some invite transformation. Mars speaks in silence and dust, but beneath its rust lies potential, a cold promise waiting for warmth. We begin with mirrors, gigantic orbital petals unfolding like metal flowers, redirecting sunlight toward the polar caps. The ice melts, the atmosphere thickens, factories breathe super greenhouse gases into the air. Pressure rises, wind returns, algae take root in the thawed ground, turning carbon into oxygen, painting red into green. In time, we won't just visit Mars, we'll walk its valleys without a mask. Children will build forts in Martian caves. Rivers will hum again where once there was only stone. This is no longer science fiction, it is engineering, with a deadline. Venus is the brightest point in our sky and the most violent. Her surface could melt lead. Her skies rage with perpetual storms, clouds racing around the planet at hurricane speeds. But 50 kilometers above the inferno, everything changes. There, air pressure is gentle, temperature is kind. Imagine cities suspended on floating platforms, gliding on Venusian winds, homes in the clouds, greenhouses above a golden haze. To tame the planet, we launch a shade, thousands of kilometers wide, between Venus and the sun. The heat recedes. Microbes scrub sulfur from the air, seeding the clouds with calm. Over centuries, the hellscape may soften, not to Earth, but to something new and livable. Venus won't become our second Earth but it may become our first sky nation. Farther still lies Titan, Saturn's icy moon. Its sky glows orange. Its seas are made of methane. The cold is brutal, but the raw chemistry is a gift. Titan is the only moon with a thick atmosphere. That's not a barrier, that's insulation. Its hydrocarbon lakes can be fuel, foundation, even shelter. Beneath the frozen crust, there may be water, and where there's water, life may follow. Warm Titan gently, seed it with organisms that feast on methane. Cities here won't look like ours. They'll float, submerge, adapt. We won't terraform Titan. Titan will teach us how to live differently. But this is just our solar system, our backyard. One day, the horizon will stretch farther, beyond Pluto, beyond the Oort cloud, past starlight, into silence. Interstellar travel won't begin with rockets. It begins with patience. Generation ships, vast ecosystems drifting for centuries, may carry entire societies to distant stars. 
cryogenic pods may cradle dreamers asleep through deep time. Or AI probes, smaller, smarter, tireless, may leap ahead, replicating and scouting, sending blueprints home. And maybe one day, we won't need ships at all. Perhaps we'll beam minds as light, across space, into machines, onto worlds we've never seen. Our far future may look radically different. Post-human societies orbiting stars, harnessing entire suns with Dyson swarms, or merging consciousness with artificial intelligence. Silicon and carbon, dreaming together. Each of them asking, what do we build next? The possibilities are infinite, limited only by imagination. This cosmic journey begins today, not merely as dreams, but blueprints, plans, and commitments to a reality we can build, if we dare to reach for it. Our cradle, Earth, gave us everything. Life, culture, and meaning. But it was never meant to be our final destination. Now, we stand at a crossroads. Should humanity focus solely on solving Earth's problems first, or must we simultaneously aim for the stars? We're curious, what do you think? Should humanity spread beyond Earth or double down to fix our home? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe, because next time we follow the money into space. From mining asteroids rich in platinum and water to harnessing solar power on an interplanetary scale, we'll explore how cosmic economies could underpin the next era of civilization. This is Architects of the Void, and our adventure has just begun.